guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are deep within the heart of Motor City for a special reason, and it's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is the all new top from bottom luxury supreme known as the 2024 Cadillac Celestic. But before we get into this ultra level of luxury fit finish and optimization, let's talk about what's going on here. Cadillac, that brand that's been around since the very early 1900s, really has been the pinnacle of American luxury style and performance. Now, what's interesting is that many people, when you think Cadillac today, everybody always thinks Escalade. And that's not a bad thing, especially with the way that we've gone in the direction of SUVs. But you know what? For many decades, it was all about luxury sedans. And when I'm saying luxury with the Celestic, we're talking about not the usual suspects when you think Cadillac. We're talking about Rolls Royce. We're talking about Bentley. Now, what's interesting is that Cadillac is no stranger to this segment of the auto industry. Going back to 1958 with the Series 70 Eldorado Brome really being that high, high level of what people would expect from an American car company when it comes to luxury, this Celestic, obviously very modern, obviously futuristic and contemporary, is really bringing a lot of that history through the years. So what I want to find out is, is Cadillac onto something with this Celestic? Is this that new level of the king of luxury sedans? And when it comes to not only what they're producing, but how you could also personalize it and throw in some electrification, let's go ahead, let's dive into our 2024 Cadillac Celestic and see is this the new king, the supreme king of luxury sedans? Let's go ahead and check it out. Right off the bat, the shape. As soon as I walked into this facility, it screamed Cadillac in a very, very good way. When we start at the front of the business, you're going to see all of that distinct ionic styling going on. Now, when I say aluminum, a lot of times we talk about injection molded plastic aluminum looking stuff. Up top, right away, this is pure aluminum from one side to the other. It actually starts off life as a big rectangular block and then gets milled down. And when you're thinking about this process, very time consuming and what we're talking about is you're looking at with this vehicle about two being built per day, much different than some of the other vehicles that you've maybe have thought about or maybe have owned. Now, when it comes to lighting, Cadillac has done a fantastic job and obviously connecting that electrification, we see now that horizontal reverse because we got now a vertical setup of those lights, all LED. We're even talking about the pixel quality up in that tiny little light near the top, daytime running lamps. And then when we're looking about lighting, we're also talking about more of those premium level finishes, just like the brow up top. Love the shape that they did with this pure aluminum style and material. And like I said, when it comes to electrification, I think a lot of brands, especially Cadillac, is learning that with EVs, part of the way of creating a personality is through not only the style, but also the type of lighting. So very, very unique on the Celestic. Now, as we come across the front, you're gonna see some similarities. Remember, you were with us when we did the first drive of the Lyric, and if you haven't seen that review, I'll leave it at the end of this one, the link to that review. You'll see some familiarity, but that's where it stops. All of this lighting is very, very specific to where you could actually have it flow in sequence. Rather than it just being one strong LED light, you actually have many within each of these elements to really create that presence. And that's where they're going with the Celestic. Of course, that iconic badge, it's changed over the years a little bit, but there is that modern interpretation. Of course, you're gonna have a forward-facing camera. And I love the way they did this lower area of course, for some functionality because we are sitting on that Ultium battery pack setup. Now, this is the first look, and we could spend hours just talking about the electrification on this vehicle, but you're basically looking at a dual motor setup. No horsepower numbers or zero to 60, but if it's Cadillac, think performance when we were driving the Black Wings. When you put two electric motors on this thing, it's going to get up and go. I promise you that. Now, when we get up onto that low 
slung hood, very, very long. I love the dimensions of this vehicle. You have that nice crisp rise and then it disappears. We're looking at materials, right? We're talking about aluminum, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber fenders, carbon fiber rear quarter. This is all material that was once like unobtainium, but now because of Formula One taking the technology and eventually bringing it to vehicles for regular street use, this is where you're seeing it. And obviously with carbon fiber, you could shape it different and you also are getting a lightness savings. It's gonna be lighter than a lot of other materials that manufacturers are making vehicles out of. Now, when you come around the bend, here's where you start to see more. It's not just the front. There's more of that specific personalization. And when you look at this color, I'm digging it, but remember, they're gonna be able to do exactly what you want. It's not like they just give you a palette and they say, pick from colors one to 10. You could go very, very specific, not only for the exterior, but wait until we get to the interior. Now, wheels. I hope you like large wheels because this thing has some massive discs. 23 inch wheel. Look at all the engraving process that happens on each of those spokes. Time consuming but well worth it because that's what this vehicle is about. Cadillac wanted to push their designers to a new level to where maybe in the past you would get shot down with something you wanted to do, but because of this being such a unique vehicle for those people that have the ability to go ahead and own one of these, they really wanted to make sure this was a standout. But I love the awesome design that they did. Even in the sidewall, they worked with Michelin to work this sidewall design. You could see all the way around there. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these wheels? You're looking at 285s up front and a 35 series sidewall. That's a 23 inch wheel, like I said, motor up front, motor out back. Now, when we come down the side, you'll notice more of that aluminum. So this is that one solid piece of aluminum that's been carved out. We have our goddess, and this will illuminate at night, very clear. Another thing you'll also notice about this area is this is where your charge port door is gonna be. You press the button, it's gonna electrically open, and that's where you'll do your charging. Now, from the side, I'm six feet tall. You could see the dimensions, very low and sleek, but like I said, looks like a Cadillac. We got the gloss black on the mirrors. You got cameras all the way around this vehicle. Obviously, we look at the roof. You're gonna have this solid piece of glass up top. And what's great is, is that wait until we show you on the inside, there's a lot of special touches that you could do with this Celestic. Now, on your way down, even something simple like a body line that flows from the fender into the door line, nice and crisp. That lower rocker piece, that is solid aluminum that's actually been carved into that beautiful shape. No door handles, because remember, when we're talking about getting some efficiency with an EV, obviously lower drag will help us with that range. So we have no door handles, not even flush door handles. I'll show you in a few seconds how you get into this Cadillac and then working your way towards the rear. Look at the way they did the quarter window. I love the way they did the rear pillar as well. Really reminds me in a very good way of things that I've seen through, throughout the years when it comes to Cadillac design. Even the aluminum trim up top, just enough to where it doesn't bring a lot of weight. I'm so glad that they didn't do anything along the uh, top of the door panels here when it comes to that bright, shiny metalwork. I think it would weigh it down too much. I really love the way it splits and defines the two-tone color on this vehicle. And then, of course, the taillights. Massive hockey stick design. And here's another thing, like I said, when you look at that Cadillac badge and you look at the engravings from the wheels on inside to the lighting and then wrapping around the back, very, very sleek. That sport back design, massive piece of glass coming down, coasting right off the back of the vehicle. You got that Cadillac badge, of course. And then as we work all the way down, a diffuser that looks like it's right off of the old DPI IMSA race car. Really nice with the way that they did all of the arrangements on that. But you know what? If you thought the outside is one thing, wait until we get to the inside. Let's check out the passenger side up front in this Celestic. All right, guys, before I let you into the Celestic, remember that this is basically one of one. This is kind of like an idea to get people's creative juices flowing. Another thing is not only are they taking, obviously, style to another level, 
Of course, that Ultium battery that's gonna reside in the belly of this beast, but also when it comes to technology. Like I was telling you, no door handles. So how do you open it up? Very simple, and I like the way they just kept it clean. You hit the button, look at that. Your Cadillac Celestic actually invites you to come on in. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I have never seen a vehicle like this. I know you've done a couple Rolls Royces. I know you've done a Bentley here and there, but this really seems to be something different. And guess what? You're totally right. This is something that's going to separate Cadillac from the rest of the auto industry. And I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, at the end of the day, what is something like this gonna cost? Well, because of the personalization, you could go mild to as wild as you can imagine, but basically around $300,000 is where the Celestic, give or take a few, is gonna fall. But why don't we go ahead, let's see what you're getting for the money to the door panels. So you'll notice on this particular model that we have here, they decided to take that exterior color, bring it to the interior. So if you're, if you're kind of used to picking seat belts and stuff like that, this takes it to another level when it comes to colors. You'll notice that beautiful lighting behind all the aluminum. Remember, this is all milled, takes time, it's a process. Even that magnesium door handle there, it may look like the one on the Lyric, but quite different and that's the great thing about this vehicle is that it's not really sharing parts with anything else in this universe that's for sure now when it comes to the door panels the materials of course you get a nice size pocket down there for your luxury twinkies and then i hope you like screen size because you're going to get maximum screen size if you think your escalade has a lot guess what forget it the celestic has 55 inches of screen. Now that screen over in front of the passenger is off because that is used when the passenger is sitting there so it does not bother the driver, but you'll notice all the rest of the screen nicely illuminated. I really like how low the dash is. I think that's one of my favorite styling points. And then you look at that steering wheel. There's something technology-wise. You've heard Super Cruise. Well, guess what? This is going to take autonomous driving to the next level. It's called Ultra Cruise. But you'll notice on the steering wheel, the aluminum, even the way that the switch gear is all back LED lit. And then, of course, you have that gear selector for your single-speed transmission. And then, of course, the AC vents. Look at the style and all of the engravings and markings. Everything is perfect. And then down below, the pedal box, same thing. Aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, throttle, and then check out the carpet. Another thing you're gonna love, especially with this being an EV, there's a lot of different materials that are earth friendly here. So when you look at that carpet, that's actually eucalyptus leaves, believe it or not. There's also vegan leathers and other types of materials to kind of make this more eco-friendly. And then the seating clean, modern design without being too gaudy. You know, sometimes I get into a Rolls Royce, it feels like a fuddy-duddy car. This is a luxury sedan that is not a fuddy-duddy car. It has modern, sporty style. You could even say sporty in this. And if you don't like any of the finishes, like the carbon fiber that's been poured all over that center console area, you could switch it out. You even have the goddess, just like on the side of the vehicle, on that control knob in the center. So elegant, but yet has all the other finishes. Now I know what you're saying, well, Joe, there's four doors, right? And I would say you're 100% correct. Why don't we go ahead, let's see how your passengers are gonna be just living at large in the Celestic in the back. All right, guys, time to get into that back seat. Now, before I let you in to the lap of luxury, I wanna show you some of the illumination of the lighting. Come forward before I forget, because you have to see this. A lot of people are calling this a crystal, but really, when you look at the clarity there of that glass with the way that the goddess is in there, so elegant within that billet aluminum piece. Love how they left no stone unturned. It's not one of those things where they were like, oh, we need to cut a corner here, we need to cut a corner there. No, this, they went full in all the way like we like to go on throttle and I definitely can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of these, but same thing with Cadillac lighting. I mean, I remember over the years when I was younger, seeing the development and the evolution of Cadillac lighting, this has been taken to another level. And I think one of my favorite parts is how it wraps around into that rear quarter here. It really gives it such a unique look. 
and just so seamless. That, I think, is the other thing that is a special touch. Now, to get into the back seat, just like the front seats, they hid that button very clean. You hit it, you get out of the way. And one thing I want to just preface about these doors, if you're worried, well, what happens if I'm in traffic or what happens if somebody's parked close, too close to me? Guess what? That's one of the reasons why the doors are not carbon fiber is so that they could sense how close another vehicle is to you because nobody wants to open their Celestic door into another car's door. We don't want that happening. Neither does Cadillac. And that's where they developed that technology. Check it out. Most people would say, hey, do you have any great Poupon? We don't need great Poupon because we have such a modern take on luxury that is so different. Two massive screens on the back of the front seats that are going to allow you to be able to watch basically whatever you want. And that's what's just amazing about the world we live in. Instant gratification. Whatever you want to watch, you can watch whenever you're ready. Obviously, the colors, you have that nice computer tr table there. Say you got to do send some emails. Say there's some uh, you know, money you need to move around, your different accounts. You could do all that while you're being chauffeured in your Celestic. And I'm thinking that, yes, I would like to be chauffeured, but I also want to drive this vehicle. You can see that beautiful goddess there. Just so much history with the brand. And yet you could see that history, but you could see where we're at now and where we're going. Even the little things besides that nice plush carpet, look at the door sill. When you look at that sill plate there, all aluminum with that LED lighting to greet you. And then when you look at the door panel and you just kind of wrap your mind around that speaker grill cover and how it looks very similar to the aluminum that's on the front of the vehicle. That's where you're getting everything tied in. And like I said, stitching, seating material, the colors, the whole nine yards is gonna be changed up with this vehicle, depending on what your personalization tastes are. But the great news about this, not only do you have a ton of room to feel luxurious on the inside of the passenger area, why don't we go ahead? This has a little bit different shape than maybe a Rolls or a Bentley. Let's go ahead and pop that sport back style hatch and see what we have underneath it. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, you're uh, at that point where say you're over in Rodeo Drive or doing some major shopping and now you're saying, where am I gonna put all these things that I went out and got? Well, check it out. What I love is just like when we did a review of an Escalade, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit right here. Boom, nice electric assist. And not only are you getting versatility, but this is just another area for the designers to have at it when it comes to the style. If you notice this piece, it looks like it's metal. Well, guess what? It is all that aluminum all the way around. And then because technically there's no separation between the passengers and the rear cargo area, they went carte blanche in the back as well. That same leather material, the aluminum, the colors, the finishes, all of this is customizable by the buyer to take their automotive experience to another level, not only when it comes to the luxury side of things, but also to the design, the technology, and of course the engineering. I can't wait to find out the performance. They're telling me that I need to catch a plane to fly home. So what we're gonna do is if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap it up with this catalog. All right guys, it's been one heck of a day here in Motor City with this new Cadillac Celestic. I have to thank the whole Cadillac team for inviting us out to be one of the first to see this vehicle, which means you get to be one of the first to see this vehicle. But let me know what you think. Has Cadillac done something where they've raised the bar and now have made it really hard for other auto manufacturers to even try to get to that level? Are they taking the technology, especially with this being an electrified vehicle, to that new height as well? Let me know in that comment section and let me know if you think it is the king of luxury sedans. But let me know if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. I'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to Lori Givens Rady, working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.